I'm going to do a tasting box of the Japanese subscription box called Wow Box. It's the April tasting box. I'm going to open it all. Nothing has been opened except for like looking at it and my husband eating one of the pieces. But don't worry, there are two pieces of whatever I had in there. Like I said before, it is a subscription box and I will link where you can buy one of these um, and then have them delivered to your door if you are interested in buying it. So when you first open it, it says it's a kawaii and beauty box, but I never, when I watched these videos before, I've never seen any beauty products in there. They did send it to me a little bit late in May, but it is the April box. On the back of this sheet is the English version of what we're going to be eating, or not we, me, because I'm the only one here, but you guys are watching. And on here, they have included a nutritional facts. You get quite a lot of junk food in here. First, why don't we try this I'm going to have to open up and see what it is but it looks like it looks like that little Pikachu guy fun fact I saw a yellow car the other day and it said Pikachu for the license plate on it it was so cute and I think it's obviously popcorn but I think it has little Pikachu pieces in it it does say it's a popcorn and Pikachu snack on here It definitely smells buttery, like movie popcorn, um, but it has these large, kind of looks like dog food really on the inside, um, those Pikachu snacks. So I'm going to first try one of these little popcorn Pikachu things. I don't like mixing my popcorn in with stuff. That was like a light, fluffy, crunchy, buttery biscuit. And then the popcorn. Oh my god. That tastes like movie popcorn. That is good. I wonder if they have that in my Japanese um, local supermarket. That is good. Next up are these green pea snack type of things. These are no stranger to me. I buy them all the time at Trader Joe's, but obviously a different... Uh, brand of them. This is not on the nutritional fact sheet that I have, but they are on this other second sheet, but it doesn't obviously have the nutritional snack uh, facts. I kind of know what these taste like, but I'm just going to open them anyway. They look like that. I don't think they smell like green peas at all. These are more salty than the ones that I buy at Trader Joe's. I feel like these are more of a junky food one. They actually taste a bit better than the Trader Joe's ones. It does have a green pea aftertaste to it, which, I mean, I guess is fine if you like green peas. This adorable thing is a candy soda making kit. You can make your own candied sodas which is kind of cute. Oh, how cute is that? It comes with a, uh, obviously a powdered thing. I get, I guess this is like the candy and these are the flavor, these are the flavor packets. Everything is so fun and colorful. A little, it comes with a little spoon shovel and then obviously right there to mix in your um, three flavors. Huh, how cute is that? Hmm. Next up is this little fun marshmallow guy. He's like dancing, dancing up a storm. Bop, bop, bop. It's called Marsh Row. I think I'm gonna like this. I like marshmallow stuff. Mm. Yep, tastes just like marshmallows. That's good. I wanna eat it all. So far so good, nothing abstract or different that I, I don't like at all, which is good. Oh, this is the candy that my husband ate. He said it was kind of like jello. He had this one and there is a second one that I'm gonna try out. He said it was just like a bit of a jello shot almost without the alcohol. It smells, ooh, it's a lot more liquidy than a, ooh. It's more liquidy than a um, regular jello. Mm. 
It's kind of like a drink, but jello. I'm not a fan of it. I don't like that one. Oh, cute. These are Hello Kitty Pockies. I have not seen these around, but obviously I kind of know what the Pockies are. But this is in a little box of Pocky. Look at all the Hello Kitties on there. Guarantee you I'm going to like these. Yep. These are good. They are kind of like a strawberry milk type of flavor. But otherwise, they are delicious as well. Obviously, all of this is super high in sugar and it's just junk food. I would, if I did order this box, I obviously wouldn't open it all in one day. Um, I probably wouldn't even order it all in one month. I'd say like once every two months or something like that, just for a special treat. Okay, these are the cutest little candies. Like, it is a chocolate vanilla pie. I mean, would you even be able to taste that because it's so tiny? I think um, I looked into this already before and it is tiny little chocolates super cute not the best chocolate I've ever had in my entire life I can't describe the flavor I guess it's like Neapolitan because all three flavors were in there but it didn't really taste like Neapolitan it didn't really taste like vanilla either I don't know what flavor that was this is labeled as a cereal bar. It's called Ipon Manzoku Bar. I would not eat this for cereal because, again, super high in sugar. One bar is 22 grams of sugar. But I am going to take a little sneaky bite out of it. It looks like uh, yogurt on the top. And it is a cornflake bar with raisins and strawberries and cranberries. It just tastes like candy to me. It doesn't taste like a cereal bar at all. But, uh, I'm not gonna eat any more because I know I can just polish it off. The exciting thing of the day is the Sakura, is that how you say it? Cola. It's a cherry blossom cola. I just wanna take pictures of this all day long and I'm gonna give it a taste. I didn't put it in the fridge in advance. I guess I should have. That's a lie. It says that there's zero, zero sugars in this entire bottle. I mean, it's a cola. It has to have sugars in it. Okay, it says zero fat, zero trans fat, zero saturated fat, no sodium, no fiber, no sugar, no protein, but the carbohydrates is 11.5 grams. There's gotta be sugar in this, man. Okay. That's pretty good. I do not like flavored colas, and um, that's easy to drink. It kind of tastes a bit like flat Coke, but with fizz. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to save the rest, put it in the fridge with this wonky um, thing on it, take that off. This is Pokemon Baby Star Ramen. I'm assuming you cook this. But you know what? I'm just gonna open it and see what it tastes like. I bet you that's super high in sodium. I'm only gonna have a few snacks of it. But I guess it's kind of cooked. It's like a chip bag, a really miniature chip bag. It tastes like chicken flavored Mr. Noodles. Smells really good. Those gooey jellies come in this little bag. Um, which I'm obviously not going to eat any more of, but they do come individually wrapped with cute uh, pictures on the front of them. This is labeled as a luxury gummy. It features a lovely jelly center in it. It comes finally in a reseal resealable bag, which is good. Oh, it's kind of sugary. Oh, and gooey. Ooh. I don't like that. Kind of tastes like pine trees. Nope. I don't like those. Those are kind of weird. This is a matcha green tea candy. I feel like it's a little hard candy. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, is there two in there? No, there's not two in there. Kind of is the shape of a fat lifesaver and is kind of powdery. Really smells like tea. 
It has a very mild tea flavor. I would just say it only smells like tea. It doesn't really taste like tea. I didn't try to crunch on it, maybe I should. Kind of hollow on the inside. It doesn't taste like tea at all. It's kind of just scented like tea and tastes like just candy. This is fun. Xylitol gum. Oh my gosh. The packaging. <laughs> How cute is that? And they come individually wrapped. The gum is so tiny. It's like little chiclets. Pink chiclets. Mmm. I guess it's raspberry flavored with like freshness. It almost tastes like a Halls at the end when you have a sore throat. It kind of tastes like Halls, which is kind of weird. It was good at the beginning. I wouldn't call this a fresh in your breath type of gum. It's more of a, I don't even know, raspberry flavored Halls. Two candies left. Uh, I think this is a sucker. And these are hard candy, pe ooh, peaches. Peach rose, oh that's different. This candy combines a rose aroma with a sweet peach taste in a treat boasting health benefits. Okay. Oh, they're like little mothballs. Oh, it smells good. Oh, is that gum? Mmm. I think I like it. It's a little tart, not sour. Tastes like fuzzy peaches with obviously rose into it. It's weird, but I kind of like it. Yeah, fuzzy peaches with a bit of rose. This is so cute. This is the last product. It's a pom-pom pudding candy. This lollipop featuring the cuddly image of Sanrio's Purin character boasts a sweet pudding taste. I don't know if I'm gonna like the sweet pudding. Not my thing. I could see a lot of other people enjoying this one. It does taste like vanilla pudding on a stick. This was something different for my channel. I know I've done one before in the past. If you are looking to get a subscription box from this Japanese um, wow box, um, I will leave all the links for it below. Just the one link, sorry. <laughs> and um, let me know what you think that you guys would have liked the best out of this unboxing candy treat box. Uh, that was so awkward. Oh my god. Why? Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in the next one.